What's up, hello guys, I'm Carla and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a bronzy eye makeup look and this is for beginners. I went step by step and I kind of described everything that I did very simple, simplistically, sim simply, sim simply, I don't know. The, I just tried my best to do this as easy as possible because I do understand that my makeup tutorials are a little bit hard for the average person so I wanted to make this for anyone who wanted to you know start doing eyeshadow more and just wanted a little help and yeah today I did more of a neutral um, bronzy eye look so it's pretty easy to recreate and also it works great for any holiday that's coming up aka Thanksgiving so if you want to try this for Thanksgiving day uh, I think it would be great and also with this lip color yes so yeah also I didn't wear any fake eyelashes because I wanted to make it more beginner friendly and yeah I hope you guys like the video and let's get started with it and bye Hey guys, so I'm first going to be starting out with primer and I'm going to be using the Nivea Pearl Shave Balm and the Maybelline Baby Skin and when you're starting out with makeup, you first want to know what skin type you have. So for example, I have oily skin, so I like using a pore filling um, primer so it can like, you know, fill in all my pores. And this one, this is a primer that will make your makeup stick in really well and it also moisturizes your face. So I like using both of these. I know this one is for dry skin, this one is for oily skin, but they work well together. So just find primers that work well with your skin type and know what skin type you have. So many people do their makeup steps differently. Some people do their face makeup first, like liquids first. Some people do their eyes first. Some people just randomly do their eyebrows in the middle of their makeup. It just depends what you prefer. For me personally, I like doing my eyebrows first and then I do my eyes and then my face makeup last. But that's just me. That's my preference. It doesn't matter what you like. You just have to play around with what you think is better for you but I'm gonna start by doing my eyebrows and again you can do yours in any time of your makeup routine it just depends what you like but yeah I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows and I prefer using powder as of right now and I use this palette in any uh, eyeshadow that you think fits with your um, eyebrow color or what eyebrow color you want if you have really blonde eyebrows and you want to Make them look a little bit darker because you dyed your hair darker, for example. You can use a brown. So yeah, um, I use this color from the Morphe 25A palette. Basically what I do is I take an angled brush, and this part right here, I use to draw in little hairs. And I first outline the bottom of my eyebrow like this, just to give it kind of an outline. Um, and then I outline the top of my eyebrow, but only the last two thirds of my eyebrow, not the first part, because you don't want your eyebrow to look harsh or like you used a sharpie. So then I use the rest that I have in my brush to fill in the um, the beginning of my eyebrow, and then I grab a little bit more. And I like the tail of my eyebrow to be a lot darker, like that. And then I use the other side to just brush in my eyebrows and blend them out. And that's an eyebrow. <laughs> it's really simple to do, you just have to know what, what, what works with your shape of eyebrows. And that's how my eyebrows look like. Everyone's eyebrows are different. I like to do mine less structured. Oops, sorry. Less structured and more natural, I guess. So now, to clean up my eyebrows to make them look a little bit more put together, I use concealer and a little um, flat brush. And I just go around my eyebrows. And I also put the concealer on my eyelids because 
I want to conceal the color in my eyelids because it's kind of veiny and it's green and it, it doesn't look well when it's layered with eyeshadow so I just cover it up and also it helps the eyeshadow pop up more and look more bright and just more colorful in general and for concealer I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer so if you're wondering Now I'm gonna take a beauty sponge. This one is from Real Techniques and I think it costs $6 so I would really recommend this one but I'm just gonna pat out the concealer that I put on. But yeah, okay so that's my eyebrows. So now what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take some, ah, some translucent powder. Any powder works, even eyeshadow. And you wanna grab the powder, and just grab a little bit of it in your brush, and put the powder where you put that concealer in. So for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be using, again, the Morphe 25A palette. And this is the perfect palette if you want a bronzy eye look. And you can do a bronzy eye look with any palette really that has browns, warm browns, and a bronzy color. First, you need a transition color to transition from your regular skin tone to your um, deeper colors that you're going to put into your eye. So I'm going to be taking a mixture of these three colors right here, these three. Now you want to take another kind of darker brownish color and I'm going to be taking this one right here and it's just a perfect beautiful chocolatey brown. I'm just taking this color and placing it on the outside of my eye, the outer V. Right now it looks really messy but I'm going to go back with another brush to blend it out. So I'm going to be taking this brush again. Now I'm going to be taking this kind of red toned brown, this one right here. Um, now I'm going to be taking again this palette and I'm going to be taking this color right here. Looks like this. So beautiful. Then I'm taking a brush and I'm just gonna outline it now with the brush. And also with a smaller brush, I'm gonna be taking the red that I use and I'm just gonna blend it in. And that's how the eyeshadow looks like. So now I'm going to be taking um, a white shimmery color and it does. this eyeshadow palette doesn't have one. So I'm just going to be using my face highlighter. I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer which is a beautiful highlighter that I recommend anyone with a light to medium skin tone. It works really well for really light skin tones and really dark skin tones. So yeah. This is a really great buy. And it looks like this. And I'm just gonna grab it with the same <laughs> brush. And I'm gonna put it on the top of my eyebrow. And also, right here, the center or the inner corner of my eye. So that's the eyeshadow already done. And now I'm gonna be doing my face makeup. So you can leave your eyeshadow here, stop, you know, doing it, but I really like the look of eyeliner, but I'm really terrible at it. So instead of doing it with liquid eyeliner or something like that, I would suggest doing it with eyeshadow. And I'm going to be taking the same color that I use on my eyebrows as eyeliner. So 
So now for mascara, I'm going to be using the manga Miss Manga Voluminous uh, Mascara by L'Oreal. And I really like this mascara. It kind of curls up my eyelashes and just gives them some volume. So, yeah. Now for my lips, I'm going to be taking MAC Velvet Teddy and it is my favorite lipstick of all time and this is how much is left. I have a backup but yeah, I love this lipstick. But now I'm going to be taking a gloss, I've been really into them lately and this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying this on top of the lipstick. And yeah, that's a face makeup. Now I'm going to go and fix my hair. So I actually changed my lipstick. I was wearing Velvet Teddy, but now I changed it to MAC Retro. I felt like it was too pink for this eye look, and it just didn't fit with the whole theme. So yes, I changed it. I hope you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you want me to do more beginners makeup tutorials because I do understand that my makeup tutorials are usually pretty complex and have a lot of steps to them. So if you want more simple makeup tutorials, just comment down below. And also if you want me to do like a Christmas version of this, comment down below. Also this works great for Thanksgiving by the way. If you didn't watch my last video, then just click on the eye right here to check it out. And yeah, I hope you guys like the video and see you on my next one. Bye!